presents Cinema Political Schedule for Fall 2012. Thursday, October 4th, The Suffering Grasses, directed by Ira Lee. The humanity of the Syrian refugees and their suffering and resilience is explored in this new documentary, Straight from the Front Lines. The situation in Syria, what do you think of it? You have, have no idea. We've got no idea about that. We have no idea about the situation. No, sorry. We're here to do the very manual. Monday, October 15th, The End of Immigration, directed by Mary Boddy and Malcolm Guy. Montreal filmmakers look at the regressive immigration policies of the Canadian state and the people most affected. We set up a group of people who are brought to Canada to work with no protections. Mm -hmm. So the system, the entire program itself, just lends itself to exploitation. Monday, October 22nd, The Heretics directed by Joan Bratterman, an exhilarating exploration of feminism, media, and art via the 1970s NYC Feminist Art Collective that produced the journal Heresies. Tracking down the heretics and shooting them on location was an adventure in itself. We followed them to wherever they were working, from Venice, Italy, and Carbonera, Spain, to New Mexico and New York City. This is who I am. Brace yourself. This large green canvas. Monday, October 29th, Blokhara, with Student Movement Shorts, directed by Igor Bizinovic. A behind-the-scenes rollicking look at the longest and arguably most important student uprising in Croatia's history. Be here uh, at Hot Docs in Toronto. Um, you know, I'm I'm Canadian. Uh, I was born in Northern Quebec, and uh, you know, in my life, I've traveled around the world. I've been living in, in London. England. Monday, November fifth. Shadows of Liberty, directed by Jay Tremblay and D. Kenton Gallo. Gorgeously shot and superbly argued, this doc picks up where the manufacturing consent left off, providing the moral and social failures of mainstream media. Affect uh, uh, the greatest amount of people and, and uh, to look at that and see how we can change it. Uh, we read uh, the new media monopoly by an American journalist uh, named uh, Ben Bagdikian. Uh, he wrote uh, the New Media Monopoly uh, in the early 80s, where he said that uh, uh, he predicted that uh, uh, 
the media empire would be controlled by less and less people to the point where ultimately we might have just one corporation um, uh, that uh, controls all the media around the world, something like Big Brother. Uh, and uh, he wrote that in 1980, he said there's about 50. In 1997, 178 countries signed the Kyoto Protocol. Monday, November 5th, The Carbon Rush, directed by Amy Miller. This commit. This commanding doc effectively counters the propaganda around carbon trading by featuring the voices of those most affected. As long as someone somewhere in a developing nation is simultaneously doing something green. But what impact are these offsets having? Ela ganha dinheiro para poder captar, para diminuir a poluição da atmosfera, mas depois ela devolve isso de novo para a natureza. Então está pagando por quê? É, te quando o grego aí, é, a tirima do grego aí, te quando. Como está? Considerando que estou aí captando. أنا انولدت وعشت كل حياتي في بلعين قرية اللي واقعة بين التلال Monday, November 12th, Five Broken Cameras Directed by Guy Davidi and Emmet Burnat Inspiring, devastating, and exquisite, this doc is a part of home movie, part resistance journal, part memorial, and part impossible collaboration. في مرة إجي مهندس إسرائيلي عمل كيسات Friday, November 16th, Herman's House, directed by Anged Bala. A compelling doc about an artist who won't give up on the dreams of America's longest serving solitary confinement prisoner, Black Panther Herman Wallace. And that's one of the bad things about it. We're friends, you know, and I'm sure he's going to want to know about my brother's wedding and how it went. He was really upset he couldn't go. And I'm sure he's gonna wanna know uh, if I have a boyfriend and why not. The ideal was Jack is when she was in Stanford doing a project. Living in New York at that time was like crazy because people were getting sick every day. Three, four, five, six people that you hear about being sick. We were very scared. That Thursday, November 22, United in Anger, a history of ACT UP. Directed by Jim Hubbard, an irresistibly entertaining and informative ensemblage of decades of AIDS activism in New York City. This is a doc of alternative history. It was about people in power not caring about the lives of people who didn't have power. Kramer delivered a fiery speech, and I remember he asked uh, like half of the audience to stand up, and he said, you're all going to be dead in six months. Now what are we going to do about it? This is co-presented with Concordia HIV AIDS Lecture Series. Saturday, November 24th, Jai Bing Comrade, directed by Anand Pat Wardan, 
An engaging odyssey, this masterpiece of political, social, and cultural historical storytelling shines a light on the struggle of India's lowest caste. Ayodhya mein Ram hai, yaha Ram hareta. Jin ke yaha Ram nahi, kahi Ram nahi hai. Aur tabhi to Babri tuti. Babri masjid mein bhi to Bhagwan tha. O kisi aur ka Bhagwan hoga. Tumara Bhagwan, tumara. Monday, November 26, E Wasteland plus The Light Bulb Conspiracy. Two potent films that follow the structured system of planned obsolescence from frenzied purchases in the West to toxic trash heaps in Africa. Monday, December 3rd, We Are Wisconsin, directed by Amy Williams. Inspiring and rabble-rousing, this doc about the precursor to Occupy beautifully captures a moment and movement of democracy from the ground up. It's like bigger than a bed sheet and it's hanging from a balcony in the Capitol, okay? And we are doing it, we are making history in Madison, Wisconsin. Do not give up, support everybody that you see. One thing that Walker didn't really count on was losing the cops. They're scared. They're scared about what's what they're being asked to do from a legal standpoint. They just locked the doors, and we're up to 1,500 and counting viewers watching right now. 